we've been happy enough to to, to reach an All Ireland final. Um, I suppose without um, being extremely happy with performances along the way, um, we had some we had we had shown some excellent form and um, some excellent football uh, throughout different parts of the parts of the year and different games. Um, but I suppose it's just about trying to fine tune it now for the All Ireland final. This is where we wanted to be at the start of the year. Like Cork are favourites for a reason, you know. So we're just kind of try focus on our own game. They have three monster titles put back to back, and you know they haven't really gone on to win All Ireland yet, so they'd be really hungry. But we're just going to focus on our own game and take take as much as we can from our previous games. Galway are up there with the likes of Kerry in terms of producing um, classy, skilled footballers all the time. Um, you know, we played them at minor level and they really gave us a lesson in football for, for most of the game and we were lucky in that we got a lot of lucky breaks and, and came back into a game and ended up winning it. I suppose two years ago we'd have played them again in an in under-21 All-Ireland semi-final and we were hot favourites to win an All-Ireland, not to mind the, the semi-final. Um, and I suppose they came out and uh, they beat us in fairness to them and you know it was it was disappointing obviously but we we know the next day we're going to we're going to have to bring a huge performance um against Galway because they're going to be the best opposition we face so far this year like every other year it uh, it never fails to to serve up some fantastic games and uh you know we Galway been in the final uh, two three years ago uh, coming back again now for for this week's weekend's final and Cork obviously uh, you know continuously strong team in Munster and and emerging through to uh, to face Galway this weekend so it's going to be uh, it's going to be a close one I would imagine um, both both the semi-finals are were very very strong games and uh, I'm sure both the teams will be doing their their level best to, to win out uh, at this weekend our backs now looking back in the Gildare game they really for the first half they really carried us like you know that three or four blocks there and I don't know, three or four blocks to any team that can really push you on and if we got four or five the next day, you know, that would be a real foundation to build on. I give a lot of credit to the lads that maybe haven't featured for Galway before, the likes of Damien Comer and Colm Ryan. they've really come in and done a job like, and to see um, Thomas Flynn back beside me in the middle is brilliant, you know, after being out for nine months. For our own team, um the, the great thing this year was that uh, we've, had, we've had a different player step up in every game, you know. Uh, Alan Cadigan got man of the match in the Munster final and Mark Sugru in the semi-final, you know. Um, we've four senior panellists and, um, you know, none of those guys have been man of the match so far, so it's been other guys standing up too, you know. So um, I think that's, that's the great thing is that everyone's um, fighting for places, everyone's trying to prove their worth to the, to the team and it's not up to any one individual or anything.